Hello, IFS 2122. My project is on the Tallahassee Museum. I decided to go there because it's relatively close to FSU, and they happen to offer a free admission for students around the time when I needed to be going and doing this project, so it was a win-win situation for me. I'd never been there, and I just hoped it wasn't going to be a boring, long museum with exhibits behind glass and with long descriptive historical significance next to it, but it definitely is nothing like that. It's, it's not really a museum. It's more like a mini zoo, and they have tons of live animal exhibits and a lot of interactive exhibits, and they actually have a zipline course around the whole place that is really, really neat, and I'll definitely check out the next time I go. Before I go over some of my favorite exhibits, you should know some things about the museum. First, it's a nonprofit organization. So that means any money they make goes right back into the maintenance of the museum or the expansion of the museum. It doesn't go into anybody's pockets. Second, it has been a part of Tallahassee since 1957, which that's a really long time. That's, that's half a century, over half a century. And it originally opened as the Tallahassee Junior Museum, which was a children's museum opened by a group of teachers and local community members designed to teach children history, science, math, and do so in a very unique and hands-on way. Um, the mission of the Tallahassee Museum today isn't much different than what it was in 1957. It, it's still designed to promote knowledge and understanding, and it does so to everybody now, not just children. And they have a lot to offer at the museum, from you know, live animals to the zipline course. It's, it's got a lot for everybody of all ages. My two favorite live animal exhibits had to be the Florida Panther and the Red Wolf. And the reason I really like these animal exhibits are not just because the animals are neat and you don't really see them, but also because of the efforts the Tallahassee Museum has done in maintaining and restoring the wild population of these animals. The Florida Panther is one of the most endangered animals in the world, and so is the Red Wolf. And it's pretty, pretty neat to read about all the efforts the Tallahassee Museum has done in restoring the red wolf population, actually. they A lot of the wolf pups that the Tallahassee Museum has raised are in the wild now, and they're part of the wild population and they're thriving. And as far as the Port of Panther, the Tallahassee Museum's main goal is to educate people on the overdevelopment of Florida and the reason the Florida Panther is suffering, and a lot of it is mainly education, but it's also very inspiring to be that up close. As you can see in the picture on the left, that's one I actually took at the museum. So you're that close to the animal and it makes you really, really feel for that animal and it inspires you to want to do more for the animal and it's pretty, pretty impressive. Some historical exhibits at the museum include, on the left there is the first uh, African-American Baptist Church in Florida and it's the actual building and you can go inside and walk around it and they have a little speaker that plays uh, like a church hymn and it's pretty neat to be inside living history. The building on the right is the Bellevue Plantation Home which uh, is a relatively modest plantation home and you think it's kind of small, but then you go out back and you see the mock-up of a slave cabin they have built, and you realize that compared to what the slaves were living in, the Bellevue Plantation Home was a mansion. The slave cabin was very, very tiny, and four or two families were living in it, so it was just kind of mind-boggling to see what they were living in, and it was, it was eye-opening. The museum also offers the zipline course, as I mentioned earlier, and they actually have three courses, one for children under 11, and then two other ones for everybody. Uh, one's probably a little longer than the other one, but it's pretty cool. That actually concludes my oral presentation, as I am running out of time, and 
there's a lot more exhibits I didn't really get a chance to explain, so you probably should just go to the Tallahassee Museum. It's, it's a wonderful place to go, and they offer a lot of free days for students, so I'd recommend going when it's free if you don't feel like paying. I think it's only like $10 to get in, so it's relatively cheap, and it's a great time, and I'm definitely going to go back there to hit that zipline course.